Where the hell am I at? Ira, Texas? A little bit southwest of Snyder, Texas? I don't fucking know. This is really fucking cool though. Look, all right, not this. This is actually a nightmare. This is that Sunkris Spinifex. Dog's worst nightmare. That, that spiny grass. Those are the seeds. That's how, obviously how they get around. But look at this. This is all a forest, a mini forest of scrub oaks. Look at that. That's all oaks. That's all tiny oaks that form a colony and top out at 18 inches. Oh, you got a yucca in there too. Okay, there's a parthenium. No, that's a croton. Excuse me. There's a croton there. That's croton dioecus. Look at that though. That's all oaks. It's all oaks and yucca. It's also been probably severely impacted by overgrazing and uh, agriculture at some point, but these oaks are still there. Probably, you know, there's probably not, there's probably a colony here. Like, these are not all individuals. They're all part of the same individual, you know, just spreading rhizomatously. You know, so it's a colony of uh, only a few individuals. Who knows? Fucking remarkable, though. That is wild. Now, normally you think of oak trees as being these giant trees, but uh, look at the texture of those leaves, too. You know, but a lot of oaks just do this. They're scrub oaks. This is the thing. This actually, there's a lot of species of scrub oak out there. How cool. Woo! We got a buckwheat, too, Ariagonum multiflorum. We get that on sand in South Texas, too. That individual is probably a little bit uh, phenotypically different because it's from a different population. Look at this yucca. What is that? Just yucca constricta? No, that's a different yucca. Fucking wild, man. What did this... This must have been... All these things have survived. Obviously, this, there's been some, you know, disturbance here by agriculture, but they've survived. I don't know how. Probably just roots in the soil, seeds. But this is a massive oak colony. It's fucking wild, man. It's so cool. Oh, give it up for Orthoptera. You know, they're everywhere. Grasshoppers, locusts. You know what eats them? Something's got to eat them, right? Because they're just a huge food source for the birds, I'd imagine. Nice pump jack out there. There's some cool stuff out here. It's not all just sand and oil rigs. Yeah, this thing right there, that's just a ragweed. That's just an ambrosia species. See that spike of flowers? There's a better example. Ooh, the leaves are kind of fragrant. See, the ambrosias are all wind pollinated. That's why they cause allergies. And those are it's basically just a little upside-down sunflower, uh, a conglomeration of sunflower heads uh, that uh, freely disperse their anthers and their pollen onto the wind. But covered in uh, glandular trichomes. It's got a nice smell to it. Yeah, there's just Quercus havardii. Look at that. What a cool oak, man. God damn, look, it's a true oak. It's just a little dwarf oak that forms colonies on the sand in uh, northwest Texas. Ha! Look at that. That's all Quercus havardii. A nice Mirabilis right there. That's all, that's all an oak. It's a dwarf oak forest on the side of the road in fucking Colorado City, Texas. Nice Botryocloa. Probably all spreading clonally, too. Oh, it's just Comalina. little blue flower. Looks like it. Ha! Look at that! There it is. There's the quote-unquote tree. And it just keeps sending up shoots. It's an underground oak tree and it just keeps sending up shoots. And then they die back, they get mowed, whatever, and it just keeps the, mo the most of the mass, the stem is underground. Fucking wild. What a strategy, man. God, Texas has some wild-ass plants in it. Yeah, see, I, I took a stem for an herbarium collection. Makes sense. Why? Why turn into a tree when you're just going to get blasted by that hot sun and those harsh drying winds like you get in West Texas? makes a lot more sense to top out at 18 inches and then just grow laterally, forming a colony, which is what this oak is doing. You know, that whole section is probably all the same individual.